And you decide. Well, the mayor of Cleveland says he is proud of the peaceful protests in his city. Those protests began on Saturday after a judge acquitted Michael Brelo, a police officer, accused of shooting and killing two unarmed people back in 2012 after a high-speed chase. But those peaceful demonstrations turned more aggressive by late afternoon and into the evening with some of the protesters attacking innocent bystanders. In total, we're told 71 people were arrested in those protests last night. Officers involved in that shooting have filed a lawsuit against the city claiming they have been discriminated against. Nine officers in total claiming the African-American officers involved in the case were treated less harshly and that it's not the first time that's happened. Sarah Ganim is digging into it for us. She joins me now. This is interesting. So there are 13 police officers involved in this deadly shooting uh, and, and a big chunk of them have filed this lawsuit basically saying actually they're the ones who, who have been discriminated against, treated unfairly. Right, it's a reverse discrimination lawsuit. They're saying because the victims were African American and these nine officers were not, they're saying they were put on administrative leave for a longer period of time. 16 months after the shooting, they were on this restrictive leave. And their lawsuit claims that typically in the department, people, officers who are involved in shootings are only on this kind of leave for about 45 days. And they say this is a pattern. So I want to read you a little bit from sure. their lawsuit. They say the city of Cleveland has, quote, long standing practices and procedures which place onerous burdens on non African American officers because of their race and the race of persons who are the subject of deadly force. They went on to say, that their punishment was, quote, substantially longer than that which had been meted out to similarly situated African-American officers. And what's interesting here, Poppy, is a judge has now ordered that the disciplinary records for all officers from the Cleveland Police Department in a five-year period now be handed over in this case and that they be uh, listed, the officers listed by race, what their punishment was and what their race is. So I talked to a former Cleveland prosecutor about this and whether or not you can be successful in a case like this. And I want to, you to take a listen to what sure. she had to say. Her name is Tanya Miller. I don't know that you get to file a lawsuit just because you're on leave a little bit longer than other people. Was your case different in some way? Were there some um, extenuating circumstances that required your leave to be extended longer than other folks? The mere fact that their leave was longer or someone else's leave was shorter doesn't necessarily mean you're going to prevail in a federal lawsuit that you've been discriminated against because you're white. Now, you know, the Department of Justice has come out with a scathing report about the training and the discipline of officers in the Cleveland Police Department. They said this. I think it's relevant here. They said their investigation revealed several troubling practices and a problematic view of what constitutes holding officers accountable. Are these officers saying anything about their fellow officer, uh, Michael Brelo, who was acquitted yesterday? Well, the lawsuit blames Brelo. It says that the state attorney general came out and cleared these nine officers and others when it decided to go after Brelo criminally for this shooting. What's interesting here, though, is that the judge yesterday in his acquittal said that he could not determine that it was Brelo's right. shots, that actual bullets that actually killed that couple. And so that could play a role in how this discrimination case now moves forward because the judge has now ruled that it could have been the bullets from one of these clear. nine officers. It's not clear whose bullets actually, whose shots fired actually ended. Killed them. Right. And now we know the that the, the police department is doing their own investigation, and we'll see what, what happens to those officers involved from that end. Sarah, thank you. Really interesting stuff.